They meet in Canberra today, the Liberal and Labor MPs, their first full formal meeting since the election. Labor cock a hoop at having one government, the Liberals sour. This morning, the Nationals attacked independents Tony Windsor and Rob Oakeshott, not the best way to get their cooperation for the next three years or until the next election, whichever comes first. Gillard will be confirmed as Labor leader with Wayne Swan as her deputy. In the coalition camp, the campfires are smouldering. Andrew Robb wanted to challenge Julie Bishop for the deputy Liberal leadership and was talked out of it by Tony Abbott. That may have been a mistake. Bishop was virtually invisible during the election campaign. How many people voted Liberal because of Julie Bishop? You could fit them all into a mini and still have, still have room for the dog. And Oakeshott offered the position of Regional Development Minister. He may take a front bench seat at the expense of Labor hopefuls. But being a government MP in the back bench is probably still better than being a shadow minister. And there are precedents. In South Australia, Carleen Maywald and Rory McEwen held ministries in a Labor government, even though they were not of the Labor family. Maywald must be ruining the timing of the state election. As Minister for Water and the River Murray in times of drought, she was forced to cut water allocations in her own electorate, and irrigation is to Chafee what coal is to Newcastle. She felt the voter backlash, lost her seat, and now, almost from her front veranda, would be able to see the Victorian floodwaters stream down the Murray. Allocations are back up. Maywald may have won her seat had the rains come earlier. Politics, even today, can still be decided by the rain gods.